Hello and welcome to Co-op Academy Swinton. My name's Miss Withers. I'm Deputy Head Teacher in charge of Personal Development, Behaviour and Welfare and also in charge of transition from primary school to high school. And your child is moving up to high school. So what will high school be like for your child? The programme at the mo moment has probably caused you a little bit of stress over the last few weeks due to the COVID lockdown. Usually we would do visits to the school to interview your child and also to interview the year six teacher. Unfortunately, due to the current lockdown, we're unable to do that. But le please let me put your mind at rest that we are having one-to-one -one discussions with your child's year six teacher to get all the information that we need to make the transition as easy as possible for your child. Behaviour for learning. Here at the Corp Academy Swinton, our approach to behaviour is positive and it places emphasis on praise, encouragement and rewards of your child making the correct choices. We believe that every child is entitled to learn in a good, productive learning environment. And this is what we will instill into your children and develop good learning habits, which are the core values. The core values are known as our strive values. Success, togetherness, respect, independence, versatility and effort. And as you can see on the slide, there's a little bit more detail around what those mean for you and your child. Being a co-op school, we truly believe in the co-op ways of being. And the four ways of being that us as a school, teachers, students, our school community, and our local community, we want to demonstrate the following. Show your care. Be yourself always. Succeed together and do what matters most. And if we live by these principles, it will make our school and our community a better place. Most of you will be quite concerned about making sure that you receive all the information that you need to know for your child starting in September. Everything that you need to know is on our website. And as you can see on the screen, we have given you directions of how to get onto the parent section and the key information for Primary Transition 2020. Also, we have created a dedicated email so you can ask the Year 7 team any questions that you might have regarding your child coming here in September. So what is on our Primary Transition webpage? The, the School Handbook. And the School Handbook contains all the key information that you need to know as parents and carers. There's also an admission application data collection form that you must complete by Friday the 26th of June. Within that data collection form, there is legal information that we have to collect, but also information that we need to ensure that we offer the right support for your child when they start in September. As already mentioned, there's the communication email address, which again, if you have any questions or queries, please, please feel free to send us via the email address on the screen. You may require your child to have a locker in September. To express an interest in a locker, you need to complete the locker hire request form and return by Friday the 26th of June. You will also see a welcome video and a virtual tour of our school. So our school is divided into five year groups and each year group has got a pupil progress coordinator and a year manager. For your child in September, the pupil progress coordinator will be Mr. Robinson. He's a teaching member of staff who is responsible for the academic progress of your child. Mrs. Mooney is a non-teaching member of staff 
who will be your child's year manager, and she's there to look after their well-being. Your child's year group is divided into eight forms. Now, we have asked your child to complete a student information form. That form needs to be completed by the 20th of June. On that form, it allows your child to stipulate particular friends that they would like to be in a form with. However, can I please make clear, it's not always guaranteed that your child is in a form with who they've asked to be. We will try our utmost best to accommodate the parents, but unfortunately, on the rare occasion, there may not be a particular student that they wanted to be with, but we'll always make sure there's a student from their school. Uniform and equipment. I know that a lot of you have questions about uniform, especially about our current providers, Whitakers, and how they will um, enable you to get your new, the new uniform for your child. So the current process for uniform, our Whitakers are only taking orders online via their website. They are dispatched from store every one to two weeks. Once the restrictions change and they are allowed to open the shops, these delivery times will return to the normal two to three days. Plans for visiting the shop are still being finalised by Whitakers, but it's likely that they will operate an appointment service from July the 1st, where you can access orders uh, or place orders via an app or website, which then can be picked up from the shop. Whitakers will be giving us more information to follow on how this is going to be done. I've clearly indicated the, the uniform requirements. Uniform is not an option at Corp Academy Swinton. It's an essential. And please see on the screen the essential items of uniform. Your child is allowed to wear a suitable dark or outside jacket or raincoat. However, we do not allow denim or fashion type coats to be worn over the blazer. We also indicate that we have black sensible leather shoes only. They must be below the ankle. No trainers, no boots, no pumps. We don't allow jewellery. That includes earrings, and if your child does have earrings in, we will be asking your child to remove them, whether they are newly pierced or not. Your child may be able to wear a watch, but no makeup, no false nails, and no nail varnish. For hairstyles, we have no excessive bright and unnatural colours, and also your child's hair if it will not have tram lines, shaven patterns, and we will not allow hair that is shaven at different lengths unless it is blended. Our senior team is the head teacher, Mr. Harrison. We have two deputies, myself, Miss Withers, and Mr. Fletcher, and two assistant head teachers, Mrs. Fagan and Mrs. Bicknell. One of the questions that I get asked regularly by parents and carers is, do we have a bullying problem at school? The answer to that is no. Of course, there are aspects of bullying that do take place, as in every school, but we effectively and quickly deal with those situations as soon as we are informed about them. We have a seven steps approach and this approach is where no blame is attached to a particular person or group. This approach aims to change the behaviour of the bully or bullies while keeping a safe environment for the victim. MyADAP 
We encourage you as parents and carers to download our free parent app. This provides opportunity for you to communicate with us and for us to communicate with you so we can stay in touch and let you know what's going on in school. It gives you direct access to your child's attendance, timetables, uh, achievements, etc. But more importantly, we're able to send you messages and you are able to send us direct messages and it's free of charge. So, important dates for your diary. Please remind your children that they need to complete the Year 7 student information form by the 20th of June. That allows them to indicate to us what children they would like to be in a form with. On the 26th of June, we ask you as parent and carers to make sure that you complete the admission application data collection form. And also an expression of interest if you would like your child to have a locker in September. Your child's first day at Corp Academy Swinton will be Wednesday the 2nd of September. I suggest that all of your children are in the school building for 8.30 on the first day, Wednesday the 2nd of September. School will be open from 8 o'clock for your child to get some breakfast on site, where they'll be meeting by myself and the Year 7 pastoral team. So, good luck. I hope that this has given you or signposted you to the information that you are required, that you required. And we're really looking forward to welcoming your child in September, especially, especially under the, the current circumstances. Please remember, if you've got any questions before September, you can contact us on the transition email below. Thank you for listening.